Are you bored with World of Warcraft? I just, I just don't want to play this game. I, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's just not fun. Are you looking for a new MMO to tickle your fancy? Stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? Stay calm. Well, well, today we're going to take a look at Big Time. This video is brought to you by Big Time. Whether you're a new player, existing player, or even a returning player, this video is for you and everything you need to know, ready for preseason 0.28. Let's start by answering some basic questions. What is big time? Where is big time? When is big time? Firstly, what is big time? Big time is a free to play MMO RPG and it combines the adventure through time and space. As the name might suggest, time is an integral role within this game. Explore ancient mysteries and futuristic civilizations as you battle your way through history, time and dungeons. You'll be battling through these dungeons with either your friends, solo or other people you find hanging around in the overworld. Whilst battling your way through time and space, you have the chance to pick up rare digital collectibles as well as tokens as you defeat the enemies and vanquish your foes. But what do you do with these collectibles and tokens after all the enemies have been slain? <laughs> well, the tokens and collectibles you have acquired can customize your character to make him look cooler and even decorate your personal metaverse to make it look more fancy for you and your friends to hang out in. Welcome to my crib. Maybe you've got duplicates, maybe if you've got matching, or maybe it's just something that doesn't fit your style. You can then take your collectibles to the marketplace and trade directly with other players. With the mention of collectibles and tokens, you're probably thinking of the dreaded micropayments. This is not how big time is gonna play out. You'll get the collectibles and these tokens through skill and strategy alone, not money. So you determine how you are going to get these and how many you're going to get. And it's all based on your skills and your strategies. Now, let's dive into character selection. But first, before we take a look at the possible classes you can choose, there is a range of playstyles for everybody and a range of classes for everyone as with most MMORPGs. But here is the unique part. You are not limited to one playstyle or one class only. Whether you like to be a healer or you suddenly realize you need a tank, that's where the time watch mechanic comes into play. You can swap in and out of your watches and change class as you desire. Now it's time to check out the classes. And the first class is the Time Warrior. The Time Warrior is known for his aggression and his brute force and close range carnage. The Time Warrior is for you if you want to be leading the charge into battle whilst also protecting your party and drawing aggro of the mobs and bosses to make sure your damage dealers and healers can survive. Remember, they're only squishy. Next up, we have the Shadow Blade. The Shadow Blade is for you if you're about sneaking and cunning. They have speed, stealth, and the cunning ability to be a damage dealing death dealer. For those of you that want to be outputting high amounts of damage, this is definitely the class for you. You need to know when to jump in and put out your damage and then jump back out to ensure you are not taking damage yourself. Whilst you are able to inflict high amounts of damage, you're definitely amongst some of the squishier classes. The Quantum Fixer. The Quantum Fixer is the class for you if you care about your friends. You're going to be laying out a lot of healing to keep all of your party members healthy, especially the tank as he contains aggro from the mobs and the bosses. But don't worry, the Quantum Fixer can be equipped with a shield, meaning he's not the typical squishy healer. You're a wizard, Harry! If you want to be just like Harry and you believe you're a wizard, you're looking for the Chronomancer. With this high magic output and precision, these spells can cause huge damage to the enemies, with the destructive power and the range needed to keep you out of harm's way. Mr. Potter. Next up, we have the Battle Mancer. The Battle Mancer is an effective elemental melee destruction champion. If you have chosen this, you are going to be up close and personal, doing as much damage as you can. And finally, we have one of the newer classes, the Tech Blade, an agile supportive class with a widespread of damage options. Now let's take a look at the where. So you've picked your class, you've partied up with your friends, and now you're exploring the overworld. What do you need to be looking for? 
and where do you need to be looking for it? There are different areas and biomes to the overworld. Each of these biomes and areas will have gates marked with levels which you must find. Look for a gate with an appropriate level and jump in. There's also symbols above these gates. These indicate different things that will be happening with inside the dungeon. So make sure you take account for what symbols are above the gate you choose. Once you've found a gate that is appropriate for you and maybe has the symbols you've been looking for, you can dive into the dungeon. But don't worry, all of these dungeons will not look the same. Big Time uses procedurally generated dungeons to keep the content fresh and freeing. So it's not like you're going to be remembering where you need to go. You're going to have to be battling through the enemies, the mobs, the bosses to make sure you get all the way through to the dungeon and get as much loot as possible. Oh my god, oh. I got an NFT! Why go through these dungeons? When you're going through these dungeons, you'll be able to collect materials and resources as well as some digital collectible drops and tokens. These things then be used within the new pre-season update of 0.28. You will have access to forges, armories, and the Time Warden. But what do each one of these things do? Let's jump in and take a detailed look. The forge is the item you're going to be using to help create weapons and shields. Within this, you can use craftable resources and then go to the forge to craft marvelous weapon cosmetics. Next, we have the armory, also a new addition for the pre-season patch 0.28. Within the armory, as the name suggests, this is where you're going to be tackling and taking your resources to create armor sets for different classes. <laughs> but you are not limited to what you can wear as a certain watch so you think outside of the box. If the armor is for a different watch class, maybe it might still serve the purpose for another watch class, allowing you to mix and match and really customize your style. Then we have the Time Warden. The Time Warden is where you're going to craft and upgrade your hourglass, which is an integral part of the game's economy. This is going to lead to your new big time token. Surprise, it's me in the middle of the video. Before we take a look further at what you can expect for preseason 0.28, let's take a look back at all the things that Big Time has already accomplished. Starting with some notable accolades. It won an award at the 2022 Game Awards presented by Games.gg, formerly Polkastar Gaming. It was presented the award of Game of the Year and Best Adventure Game. Now that we've taken a look back in time, Let's look forwards in time at what you've got to enjoy in the coming pre-season 0.28. The pre-season will be starting, so let's take a look at what that means. First things to expect if you are a new player, do not fear. There is seamless Web3 experience ready for anyone choosing to play big time. The traditional gamers are going to experience a sleek, seamless onboarding into this Web3 game, getting rid of any frictions you might be used to if you have tried to play Web3 games previously. But how is big time going to do this. Firstly, they're going to use traditional authentication options when you're creating your account, whether that be with email or signing up with your Google, Twitch or Discord. Secondly, it supports purchases via credit card or bank transfers as well as crypto, allowing anyone not experienced with blockchain technology to also get involved if they want to be purchasing any of the in-game items the same way as they would with traditional games and their micropayments. Thirdly, you can then trade these items via the official online store without a dedicated crypto wallet. You can then also withdraw your funds straight to a traditional fiat bank account or a crypto wallet if you're already blockchain enabled. Now that you've made your account and you're ready to jump in, if you're a new player, this can be quite daunting. What if I do something wrong? What if I don't know what I'm meant to be doing? Don't worry, the big time community has you covered. The big time community has been making lots of user generated content for exactly this reason. They have had many people streaming on Twitch and creating VODs or standalone videos for YouTube. There is a wealth of information out there for someone like yourself. It's a shoulder piece! Let's go! If you are a new player, even if you are not a new player, I would suggest you check in with the big time community, maybe through Discord or anyone streaming on Twitch, because you can never have too much knowledge about an MMO RPG. There's always so much you could be learning, and the big time community and their user generated content has got you covered. 
Whilst Big Time is not selling the cosmetics directly to the players, if you are buying a cosmetic, you are buying that cosmetic from another player. But where are these players getting these cosmetics to sell you? All the cosmetics you are going to be purchasing are either from players' loot drops or crafting. Then they are going to be selling directly to you or you are going to be buying directly from them. It's as simple as that. All you have to do is go into the dungeon, cross your fingers and hope for a cosmetic drop. Slightly less luckily, you can go in and you can pick up the resources you need to craft the fantastic cosmetics yourself. Once you have collected some of these collectibles or crafted them yourself, you can take them to the marketplace where you the player will be selling directly to another player. This is not a system where everybody is going to be handing their money over to big time and thanking them for a cosmetic from their dragon's hoard of plunder. You the players are the ones that are going to be having the hoard for other players to be purchasing from. But how are these cosmetics different than traditional games? In traditional games, there is an infinite supply or quantity of cosmetics. There are rare cases where the IPs might have limited skins for sale and put fixed amounts. But this is unlikely as it was likely to hamstring their ability to make profits. Also, with traditional games, there is no ownership over the skins. Once you have bought that skin within game, you are usually stuck with that skin forever. There are some cases where skins are tradable, but those are few and far between. The big time difference is these cosmetics will have a limited supply and they will be player owned. They will be owned by the player, sold to the other. This way, big time itself are not the ones profiting buying cosmetics. This is a fully player driven economy. With this new method of trading, Big Time plans to become a new generation of Web3 games. Previous iterations of this style of trading has always brought down players playing for profit, so that the Web3 players that would be spending and then there'd be the free players that would be extracting. What Big Time plans to do is create a better loop, one that encumbers playing for fun and spending money on cosmetics or crafting these cosmetics because you're enjoying what you are doing. Oh, this game is awesome! This is why Big Time plans to deliver a triple A game and an experience where regular players don't need to worry on such things like players extracting for profit, but instead they are playing for fun and enjoying their experience on the way. And the cosmetics are purely there to make sure you look fancy whilst you're playing. Things to be looking out for in preseason patch 0.2 some of these we have touched on already, but if you haven't been paying attention, here's a quick rundown. New things include the big time token, the introduction of hourglasses, the big time token leaderboard, prestige portals, the ability to craft collectibles, and open mystery boxes. So you've heard me speak about the big time token already, and this might have you worried, but don't worry. Big Time has a plan for this. Big Time's economy is designed for stability. The Big Time token will feature in a fair launch with no allocation to the team members or investors. There will be a limited supply of hourglasses. You'll then play the game and come out with on-chain Big Time tokens. Only hourglass holders can generate Big Time, creating a cap. But all players can spend Big Time. Therefore, there is Big Time sinks which are uncapped. What does this mean to the big time token supply and demand? Whilst having a lower user base, the capped supply and uncapped demand should remain fairly equal. When big time gets a larger adoption, thus increasing the player base, the generation amount of big time will remain capped the same, but the demand should increase with the number of players increasing. But what is the demand for big time? Where will they be used in game? What will you be doing with all the time you collect? Big time will be used on the prestige portals, the armorer, the time warden, the forge and crafters for the utility collectible and hourglass holders. The output from these will be more cosmetics that you can tend take to the marketplace. Access to the preseason is going to be exclusive. Only the following players will be granted entry. Those who redeemed gold, silver and jade passes. Players that hold or own a space. A player that has reached rank 20 in any patch. And all of the big time ambassadors. So now we know who currently will have access to the preseason 0.28. But what do you do? If you don't fall into one of these four categories already, how will you gain access? There are four ways to gain access for this preseason. Firstly, buy any space and you will get access. Secondly, join a Twitch stream with a hashtag ambassador in the title. 
because these ambassadors will be giving out invitation codes in their channel to get as many people as possible involved in this preseason. You could also join the Big Time Discord, where moderators will be copy and pasting invitation codes at random times throughout the day, so make sure you leave those notifications on for the Big Time Discord server for a chance to access this preseason. Finally, we've touched on it already, but Big Time has a vast community, and users that have generated content are likely to have been given access codes to give out to their community. If you have a favourite creator and they maybe haven't created something about big time yet, maybe encourage them to get out there and create some big time content for the chance of getting some access codes to give back to their community. Now you know everything you need to know to be ready to jump into Big Time's new upcoming preseason 0.28. If you have any further questions or any queries as to what you need to be doing, make sure you head over to the Big Time Discord server or the Big Time Twitter page. These can be a wealth of information for all of you. Now, it's time for us to jump back into a dungeon and keep grinding those collectibles and tokens. I'll see you out there.